what's good guys i'm here bringing in the violence in today's video where i will be showing you guys how to set up master annie and exodus in Cody 17 post the lawsuit nonsense yes that does make me a pirate of the caribbean all joking aside if you guys are watching this that means that you or someone you know has been affected by the recent lawsuits between dish network and tv add-ons as well as zem tv because of this, the repo and along with a few other add-ons such as Exodus, Master Annie and a few others have not been working and it's uncertain when or if the repo will be coming back. So if you're new to Kodi and you're trying to set up your add-ons or if you're like me, you're just trying to update, you might be experiencing some difficulties. So you might be asking yourself, what now? Hold up, don't start resubbing to Netflix on Hulu just yet. There is a solution to this problem. Yeah, army mateys. Now there have been a few alternatives since the lawsuit to getting you know these add-ons set up and working again. And one such alternative is the Simply Has repo. And today I'm going to show you guys how to set it up so you can get all your favorite add-ons back so you can resume being you know horrible people. Well, you know as far as Dish Network and all of Hollywood is concerned. So yeah, guys, let's get to it. Okay, guys. Now in order to get this set up, what you need to do is go to settings, then file manager then add sources, then enter the sources you see here. Once that's done, press OK and just give it a name. I usually name my stuff after my repo, so I'll just call it Caswall. Once you're finished with that, just click OK and go back to the home page. Go to add-ons, then select manage add-ons, which is this little box right here, and then go to install from zip file. Now, if you guys haven't done this before, when you select install from zip file, you're going to get this error message. Just go to settings, then enable unknown sources and that should solve that problem. Now you're going to click on install from zip file, locate the source, then select the repository folder and install the zip file you see here. It might take a minute but once it's done you'll get a notification like you see here. Once it's finished installing, go to install from repository, then go to the Simply Cas repository, then go to video add-ons and then search for the Exodus add-on from here. Select Exodus, then either update it if you already have it installed or select install if not. It should take some time to install all the requirements needed, but then that should be it once it's done. You should have the latest working version of Exodus. And that's it. Once you finish installing Exodus, you can open it from here and also search for whatever shows you want to watch. And just to show you that it works, let me search for something that, you know, I'm a big fan of. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, I get it. Dragon Ball Super. Okay. And there you have it. Dragon Ball Super. All right. Let me select the link. We have season five. And okay. This was the latest episode that came out Sunday. So, yeah. Because it's new, I haven't set up autoplayers yet. So, I'm just going to select the source here. Yeah, HD quality is just fine for me. And there you have it. It plays. Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. Thank you. All applause deserved. But guys, hold up, hold up. I'm not done yet. What? So yeah guys, as I was saying, if you are someone who loves anime, then you can continue watching this video about Master Anime. Otherwise, then I guess it's the end of the road for you. Bye! Bye guys! Enjoy your TV! Okay, are they gone? Looks that way. Alright, cool. Now that it's just us weebs left, you might be wondering, why do you need Master Anime? Could you just stream it on your computer or, you know, continue using Exodus? That's true, but the main problem with Exodus is that it doesn't have the best streams available. Sometimes, you know, it buffers, it takes a longer time to buffer. It only has a few trusted sources that you can actually pull anime from. And sometimes they don't even have the proper translations or, you know, the subtitles aren't even there at all. And the provided subs that Exodus gives you, they're weak sauce. And you might not want to go to your computer to stream, you know, anime. So I would definitely recommend Master Anime. It is a very good anime add-on. If not, to me, I actually like it a little bit more than Kiss Anime. I actually like it 
a little bit more than his family. That's And that's enough of that. So yeah, back on topic guys, since the developers at Kiss Anime implemented captures on their links, the Kodi add-on has no way of bypassing this, so it's pretty much been disabled. As of lately, it's been very hard to find a quality anime add-on for Kodi, so trust me, Master Annie is the best you can get. To install it, you're going to have to add a new source, so go to settings, go to file manager, add source, and then you're going to add the super repo repository. And once you finish adding it, just give it a name. Like I mentioned, I just call mine Supo. Now we're going to press OK, go back to the home page, and like last time, go to Add-ons, then Manage Add-ons. You're going to click on Install from Zip File, then select Supo, then Krypton, then Categories, then select the video repository. After a few seconds or a minute, you should get a message saying that the repository has been installed. From here, go to Install from Repository, Go to Super Repo's video section, then find Master Annie. Select install and give it a few seconds to install the add-on. Unfortunately, we're not done yet. Unlike Exodus, Master Annie isn't bundled with its required scripts, so a lot of functions won't work when you first try it out. The only way to fix this issue is to back out of Kodi temporarily and find it online by searching through Google for script.module the PYXDMCT. Now before the lawsuit, you didn't have to go through all of this just to get this script. You could have installed it through Indigo or by downloading it through Phoenix because it came bundled with Phoenix. But those add-ons no longer work, so your only result is to go through Google. Once you've got the script downloaded, make sure that it's saved to a location that you can easily find on your computer. I saved mine on the desktop. Now go back to Kodi, go to File Manager, add source and then navigate to the location that you save the script to select ok and then go back to the home page from here you're going to go to add-ons then manage add-ons then install from zip file and navigate to the source that you just added being the desktop in my case locate the zip file you just downloaded then select ok and your script should be installed and that's all it takes to get Master Annie working. You should be able to use the search function now, as well as the filter function for anime. I'm going to just do a quick search. Dragon Ball Super. You know I love that anime. Unlike Exodus, Master Annie has a wide list of sources for you to get anime from in various qualities. So let's go to this last episode that, you know, I was showing you guys before. And... Select 1080p or 720p, uh, yeah. All right, it's starting up. Seems to be working well. And I'll stop it right here. And that's all there is to it, guys. And there you have it guys, thanks for watching this video, I hope you learned something from it. If so, don't be afraid to hit the thumbs up button, share with your friends who are experiencing you know, problems with this, and also subscribe to my channel. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Simply Kaz, I really am grateful that he managed to put this out. And all he really wants in return for all of this is a subscribe on his YouTube channel, so you know you could always navigate to his YouTube channel down below, I'll put his link in the description and you can go and subscribe from there for the latest news and latest updates on what he's doing with his repo. Again, thanks for watching guys and until next time, peace!